I know horses are very gentle, but seeing them in real life, hearing them making noise, stomping the floor, and being able to touch them and let them gently rub their teeth against your hand and rub on your arm was totally a brand new experience for me. Hi guys, welcome back. So recently I decided to do a new travel series featuring Airbnb local experiences in LA. Yep, for those of you who don't know, Airbnb is not just a platform to find unique and quality places to stay for your trips. Now you can look for local experiences in a city to explore culture through food, tours, or activities. Instead of spending a lot of time and money planning and traveling far, I want to share more affordable ways to have fun and see beautiful places in LA. By the way, the video is not sponsored by Airbnb. It's just my honest review for the experiences we signed up for and I want to share with you guys. So, are you ready? For this very first episode, if you like animals, I'm taking you to enjoy some horse playtime at a rescue horse ranch called Sapphire Sanctuary at Dark Horse Ranch in Sun Valley. We live in Glendale and it's only 20 minutes drive for us, super easy and close. Sapphire Sanctuary is a non-profit horse rescue program that takes care of horses that have been abused, mistreated, or abandoned. If you sign up for the experience, you can come here to spend a few hours hours in a day to get to know these cute horses. You'll get to see where they live, what they eat, you can feed them, brush them, and enjoy some playtime watching them chasing after a huge bouncy ball. Most importantly, your visit will be a great support for the team to continue taking good care of the horses in their forever home. I have to be honest that I felt a little bit intimidated in the beginning when I walked into the stables, seeing these gigantic horses so up close. I know horses are very gentle, but seeing them in real life, hearing them making noise, stomping the floor, and being able to touch them and let them gently rub their teeth against your hand and rub on your arm was totally a brand new experience for me. Just like our coordinator Karen said, animals are smart. They feel your energy. So you just need to stick out your hand in front of their nose to say hi and let them sniff you first. That's how you start building your trust and friendship. We are going to bash fast. Let's go! We briefly met and greeted all the horses and as the time went by, I started to feel more comfortable as I interacted and learned more about them. It's interesting to see their different personalities and how intelligent they are. Some are playful, constantly chewing or twirling their toys. Some are curious, sticking their head out, seeing what's going on. And some are cool kids looking cool, just chilling in their room. We learned how they clean the stables and help the horses stay clean and dry with the nice cushiony wood shavings on the ground. Now it's the stall cleaning time. Grabbing this fork and I am ready. So first you scoop the... And you shake, 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 get rid of the shapes. And then you dump it. The way they prep the food for the horses was amazing because their nutritionist designs the recipe for each horse to make sure they have a good, balanced, and healthy diet. Their food includes grains, oats, vitamins, and all the good stuff that keeps them healthy. This is the hay for the horses. One of my favorite parts was feeding them freshly cut carrots and hearing the ASMR crunching chewing sound. They seemed super excited about the carrot bites. Later in the afternoon, we walk them to the playground to stretch and enjoy some chill playtime. It feels so surreal surrounded by so many big horses at the same time, seeing them playing together. It's like walking your dog in a park, but your animal and the playground are 10 times bigger. I feel happy that I have this space to socialize and let out some energy before the sun sets every day. 
I like when Karen said that they don't talk about the horse's past sad stories to every new visitor, because what happened in the past, all the miserable memories don't define them. All they have now is the present. Here in the sanctuary, it's all about moving forward and enjoying peace and happiness. She said the sanctuary is their forever home. Even though the finance situation is challenging sometimes, they are doing their best to help. The contact with the horses is not only therapeutic and healing for the horses. You might be surprised how the horses can also heal you with their presence. We can both find our inner peace and joy spending time together. I adore every person and volunteer I met here. People are so warm, friendly, and open-minded. They donate their time to help making others' lives better. I'm just probably just interacting with the horses because a lot、mm-hmm. of what we do is just trying to make their environment better.、Right. And so,、mm-hmm. actually, like hanging out with them is、mm-hmm. kind of like the light at the end of your cleaning day.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they've come from like these places where they're mistreated, and they get to be、mm-hmm. here and like pampered and cared for. So it's like really like. It just makes you feel good and like calm, yeah. yeah. And I love like watching them play like, with a big ball.、Uh-huh. I think it's like really cute and like just like kind of calming. You get like to relax.、Mm-hmm. Thank you, Esther, Karen, and amazing Sapphire family for this great experience. Next time, when you need some animal love and want to braid some horse hair to practice your Coachella look, don't forget to stop by and visit these adorable horses. You will love them, I guarantee you. The event listing link is in the description box. Feel free to check it out. And also, thank you guys for watching my first Airbnb experience episode. Leave me a comment, and don't forget to like and subscribe to join the community. See you guys next Tuesday. Bye.